Hello. I'm here today to announce something that I think might be of interest to the online community of people who follow my work. This October, I will be heading off to Thailand to pay respect and visit, learn from, and just to see my teacher, Ajahn Tong Siri Mangalo, who will be 91 this year and has been probably the biggest influence uh, as a living person on my life, um, well, by far has been. Uh, so someone who's very important to me. As a part of the trip, I will also be practicing on my own and, and teaching others, leading retreats up on a mountain somewhere, but as part of the trip to see my teacher, I will be making an offering, which is customary at the end of the rains, to uh, the offering of robes. So at the end of the rains, after having three months where you couldn't go anywhere, monks will often be in need of a new set of robes. So the tradition is that at the end the monks would gather together all the cloth that they had made and present at least one set of robes to some monk who needed them. Probably his robes would be worn out or maybe it was just a monk that they respect if there was no one who really needed them. But it would be a, it was a tradition called the katina where they would get together and make a symbolic offering of robes. Now it's evolved into or even in the beginning, it, it, it could be expanded into offering many sets of robes. So I won't be obviously the only person offering robes on that day, but what I'd like to do is open this up to people who might be interested in also offering robes. Now this doesn't mean that I need you to send me sets of robes. I think that's impractical. I won't even be bringing robes from Canada myself. We'll be getting them when I get to Thailand and, and, and offering them. But in order to open this up to people who are interested, who want to get excited about doing good deeds, who want to cultivate wholesomeness in this way, who have the resources by which they could offer a set of robes, um, and would like to do something to cement their own mind in the practice and cultivation of goodness. We have thereby, the organization that I uh, run or am involved in and my board of directors and I, we have put together a Indiegogo uh, project which uh, you can go to, it's in the link in, in the description to this video and it basically allows you to get involved and um, you can go there and get, get, get details if you want to donate, us, want to be involved with donating a set of robes. Now our goal is potentially to offer 84 sets of Buddhist monks' robes to my teacher. Why 84, you ask? 84 itself is a symbolic number. 84,000 is the number of teachings that are said to be contained in the scriptures that we have uh, recorded of the Buddha. So it's symbolic of also paying respect to the Dhamma, but the real question is, what could one monk possibly do with 84 sets of robes? Well, the monastery where my, my teacher lives and teaches has evolved from a small uh, community temple to be a huge multi-acre uh, meditation center with hundreds of meditators and actually over a hundred monks who will stay during the rains. So by the end of the rains there will be at least a hundred monks staying there. We actually won't be able to give a, a set of robes to all of them unless we get over our limit and, and uh, decide to offer more than 84. Maybe we could switch to 108, which is also a symbolic number. But for now we're setting the limit at 84, which is the number that I've actually offered before. I've done this before and it worked really well. The monks were ecstatic. They were able to get quality monks robes that many of them had never seen. Many of the young monks who, 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 are, who don't have any uh, followers or so on, they, they're never able to get this kind of support and so they've never seen such quality monks' robes. Um, so it's, gonna, it's something that is, that is highly appreciated. It's also a great feeling to be able to come in there with such a huge number of, of robes and to really show the extent of our appreciation for our teacher 
Um, but moreover, more than that, it's a symbolic gesture on our part to support the monastic order. Um, if you're someone who is keen on, on the idea of becoming a monk one day or, or on, of supporting monks in their dissemination of the Buddha's teaching and their dedication to disseminating and, and, and practicing and upholding the teachings of the Buddha, uh, especially in this case because this is a, a monastery. Many of these monks um, have, have ordained specifically at this monastery because they were interested in the meditation practice. And so this is a direct way to support the monastic tradition in, in, in this lineage. So symbolically it means a lot to, to, to make this kind of a donation. For me, as, for me at least, it means something great to be able to offer this. Um, you know, one, of the, one of the basic requisites for a monk, which is this robes that I'm wearing. Each set of robes has three robes in it. This is the upper robe that you see and in, underneath there's the lower robe. And they're big pieces of cloth and they're, they're not easy to sew. So um, it really is a great thing to be able to give this. Most people don't ever have the opportunity. Um, and, and this special occasion is uh, really the right time to offer because it's, as I said, it's when it's needed and it's when it's uh, expected, it's, it's when everyone comes together to do this. So it will be, I think, a great opportunity if we can actually do this. If we don't get 84 people interested or, 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 or enough support to gather, gather together 84 sets of robes, then we'll just offer whatever we have. If we get more, as I said, maybe we'll increase it. But just wanted to put it out there in case there's anyone and I'm, I'm assuming there is, who wants to get involved with this great endeavor to help us to support the Buddha's teaching, to support the Buddhist religion, to support our own practice of Buddhism um, by, by cultivating generosity and, and respect and renunciation and putting our vote, our, our resources and our effort behind something that we truly believe in. So. I would uh, like to encourage you in this, but, but only, you know, I'm not asking for this. This is not something that you need to feel obliged to do, but, but something that I would encourage because I myself believe in it. And so if it's something that you'd like to do and would come from your heart and you really feel, would make you feel good to do, then absolutely this is a great way to cultivate generosity and, and respect and so on and all those things. So, um, let us know if you're interested. Visit the Indiegogo pro project below and uh, you can leave comments if you have uh, anything to say or, or get, uh, get in touch with our organization via our website, which I'll also put in the link below. Um, but yeah, so th thank you for your consideration and, and, uh, and most importantly, thanks for the support, the support um, moral support that people have been giving just by following and, and liking and, and, and commenting on and, and, and practicing the, the teachings that are presented in these videos. I mean, I get so many awesome comments from people about uh, how, how these teachings help and that's really all that we're trying to do. I'm not trying to put myself out as some kind of big teacher. Obviously, I don't have uh, anything special to offer, but uh, personally, but, but but what I have in Buddhist teaching is something special, and, and I think a lot of these teachings are not well represented or well understood by uh, a great portion of the world, and so it seems to be a good thing to spread those. So that's what uh, that's what that's all about. But a little bit off topic. Anyway, topic is offering. Um, 84 sets of robes to my teacher who will then offer them to the monks. We'll share them with the monks staying with him during the rains. We'll have it all on video when I go there. I hope someone will, will have someone take a video and you can see the, uh, the goodness of it. So if any, and, and the other thing is for some people this kind of thing is important. Just to mention that uh, the robe sets, I don't have one here, there's one over there, but um, you know, you can look at on, on, on the internet, Google, Google Buddhist monks robes and you'll see they're in a set. And we're going to put, um, we can put, if you'd rather not, we, we don't have to, but we'll put 
uh, the names or any name you choose as long as it's not a you know a, any reasonable name a uh, serious name on the monks robes when we offer them so if you want to dedicate the meaning is if you want to dedicate an offering to someone uh, you can do that so if it's someone who's passed away or someone who is sick or or, or someone who who is um, who you think would benefit from dedicating this this offering to for some people that's uh, uh, a neat idea and might be appropriate so uh, you're welcome to do that you're welcome to off to to uh, offer many sets or even part of a set you can gather together it's all all the information's on the indiegogo site and so this is just me uh, letting you know about it if it's of interest to you so thanks um, for all those people who do get involved may may this be a support for all of our practice and for our cultivation of goodness, for our dedication to purity of mind, wholesomeness, goodness, Buddhism, the Buddhist religion, the Buddhist monastic order, my teacher, our teacher, and uh, just the cultivation of the spiritual life. May we all obtain uh, true peace, happiness, and freedom from suffering, and may this be a support for our progress towards that goal. Thank you and wishing you all